coming. Their time is coming. I mean, it really is hard not to like the Clemson people, especially being from South Carolina. I travel all over the world. When I'm in Nebraska, buddy, I pretend like I played at Clemson. I'm kidding. I would never sell out Carolina like that. I talk down about the Gamecocks when I'm anywhere else, just like I do here. But when we went to the Sweet 16, I followed them. We hadn't won a tournament game in my lifetime. I was born, and we had never won a March Madness game. I cried watching Duke lose to us. Krzyzewski's like, don't foul, don't foul, with 18 seconds left. And my, I was just like, Pfft. I just started crying. Like, I don't know why I'm crying. This is like the best thing ever. And then I went online and looked for tickets and went to Madison Square Garden and followed the Gamecocks up in New York City to watch them advance from the Sweet 16 to the Final Four. And it was the greatest thing watching. I cried at the end of the Florida game. They put Darius on television. He was sitting four rows over me. I was like, I was crying five minutes before Darius was crying. <laughs> it's like, it ain't like he wrote Wagon Wheel. Come on. But I was watching us win. I was watching Frank cut the nets, and I was like, man, outside of my first child being born, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. It is ranked ahead of my second child <laughs> being born. That's the applause break over here. That's the applause break over here. Okay, we're just, just clearing that up. You're sitting on the wrong side of the crowd, sir. You clap right away. This, you're, you're supposed to be sitting over here. But people are like, that's a mean joke. And I was like, Walt. You're my second child. What do you think of that joke? And he's like, you took me to the game in New York. Up top. Go Cox. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Amen. But uh, I love yelling, go Cox, other places. Because <laughs> I don't even think about it. I just, it doesn't even register to me that it's even like a, it's not even a double entendre. It's literally just an entendre. But other people in the country are like, and you got to explain, no, 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 it's our mascot. And they're like, isn't it a chicken? <laughs> and we're like, oh, y'all don't fry and eat your mascot before all your athletic events. That's not what you do. That's not normal. 80,000 grown men yelling, yay! Cox! Anywhere in South Carolina, probably in Georgia, you could yell out in public, yay! And one idiot would be like, Cox! So every day, we were there four days in Queens, staying with some comedian friends. That's when my 13-year-old son found out what an apartment filled with weed smells like when we stayed with four of my comedian friends. Didn't register that on the what's going to happen list when we're in New York when I saved $400 by not going to the Hampton Inn. But I should have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. You ever have that feeling when you wake up in a sea of weed? Whew. Whew. I did save $400, though, and I feel great. <laughs> and God knows my heart. <laughs> mm. But we were up there, and my son had the idea. He was like, Dad, first day we were here, and every day since, someone has gotten on the subway and tried to sell us something very awkwardly and loud. So they get on the subway and they're like, I'm not here to scare you. I'm just selling Hershey, Hershey bars for $6. And then they bump their cart off your feet. $6, Hershey bar, $6, $6. New Yorkers don't even take their headphones out. And I'm like, I'll take two. <laughs> so Walt was like, Dad, I think you should try to start a, a Dame Cox chant on the subway. Because we'd already beaten Baylor, so now we're on the way to the game on Sunday, to the Florida game. And uh, he was like, he's like, it's really, it's going to work either way, because they're either going to do it with you, and that'll go viral, or they're not, and that'll be better. <laughs> so there is a video that 49,000 people watched the hour before the Florida game of me on the New York subway for 95 seconds. I'm going to do it for three seconds here, and then I want you to multiply that by 30. All right, New York, I'm not here to scare your opinion, but our Gamecocks just went to, to the Elite Eight, and if we win, we'll advance to the Final Four, and we have a chant that we do in the stadium, and I want all New Yorkers to do it with me. Ready? Keep it in mind, grown men are sitting right there 
and are pinned in that far from me. And I'm like, let's go, New York. Game! Now, the guy's sitting right there, and I'm like, Cox! Game! Cox! That was five seconds. Now multiply that by 30 in your head. And that's what I did to Cold Stone Silence. They didn't take their headphones out, but they were paying attention. They're like, One guy just had a tear. <laughs> and I interpreted it as happy for the Gamecocks going to the Elite Eight. And that's what I told the officer. <laughs> I almost got thrown out of Madison Square Garden. Ironically enough, coached for nine years at a Christian school and not one time did I ever even accidentally use a swear word yelling at the referee. I mean, no refs in the league liked me personally. I mean, they understood exactly how I felt about them, just not with any vulgarity. But I, I hollered at the referee or at the Florida fans, or maybe at this Florida fan two feet in front of me, aggressively, and I accidentally cussed a little bit. Or, yeah, I mean, my son said it was a lot, but still. <laughs> I had lost my mind. There's two minutes left. Coatsar hit the little shot from 10 feet. I ran down the, I, we were on the ninth row right on the end zone line. And I ran down the stairs when Kosar hit the shot with like 55 seconds left to almost ice it to put us up. And the bouncer at the bottom of the steps just said, no. <laughs> I was like running down. I don't know where I was going. I lost my mind. And I grabbed the railing as I ran to him. And he's right there. And I just went and spun back up and ran back up the thing. <laughs> and then jumped over the railing back into my seat and then landed on top of the bars. I mean, like the seat like that, and then just stood there like this, knowing that they were cutting a commercial for the momentum timeout and that they would pan the crown and I would be like, ah. I mean, that's what I did in my brain. In real life, I came down here, whoosh, separated my shoulder, and then cracked my kneecap on this step right here, and then ran up here, tried to jump over this railing, caught the railing on the way over, boom, and then face down into the thing. It was like, go Cox, baby! <sighs> mm. It's my favorite thing to do, to end a joke with go Cox, baby, and get an applause break.